Hello! After releasing two pretty successful models of Android players, M6 and M6 Pro, of course, uh, many people were waiting for the Shenlinks uh, release of uh, model in the more high-end segment and uh, they announced M8 with few interesting features and uh, finally it uh, made its way to me and today I will talk about this uh, definitely interesting player. And uh, Shenlink decided to select uh, well-recommended uh, uh, AK4499 as digital analog converter, two of them. They also used XMOS uh, for the USB interface, they used the uh, Qualcomm CSR, CSR 8675 uh, for the Bluetooth, so basically wireless connectivity and USB connectivity is good here. Player is based on the Snapdragon uh, 430 chipset uh, and it's limited to Android 7, but of course with uh, uh, Shenlinks tweaks uh, it's uh, not really re recent, but it's the chipset that works pretty good in many modern dubs. And uh, they added uh, 4 GB of uh, RAM, 64 GB of flash memory on board. Also, they've implemented uh, in-house uh, amplification schema that is capable of uh, delivering up to 840 milliwatts uh, for uh, 32 ohms load from the balanced output and they packed all that stuff in signature well-designed uh, shell. So, anyway, let's uh, probably have a closer look. Price is $1660, at least currently in uh, many shops, so it's a recommended price. And now definitely let's have a closer look. So, I got it with, uh, uh, with uh, stock leather case. Case is uh, pretty simple, but you know, it's, it's that uh, type of case that everyone likes it's just a safe design player itself came in nice uh, box it's actually not uh, as big as it it could be so thanks to shenling for making it a bit smaller uh, nice uh, signature uh, uh, foil with interesting stuff uh, information in different languages but not much interesting details more interesting is here, so MQA, HWA, LDC, Qualcomm, APTX, so basically all good modern codecs. As usual, in the outer box you will get the inner one, and you can see that this part flips to simplify the access to this internal wooden box. And it opens this way, of course you will get some uh, papers, player itself, case with replaceable sockets and tools for socket replacement, and underneath a bit of additional accessories, basically USB-C cable and screen protector. Actually, pretty nice protector screen, all that wipes, all that you need to apply this screen protector. As you can see, presentation is done on a really good level. In terms of design, Shenlink uh, keep, keeps being uh, pretty consistent, using the same shapes with uh, rounded uh, sides, with uh, notches to uh, provide a better hold and grip with buttons on the one side and this rotating and clicking knob on the other side. Let me show the younger brother, so you can see that uh, shape is pretty consistent with M6 Pro and M8 is just being a bit thicker, a bit wider and has a bit higher. So few millimeters in all dimensions bigger and of course it's like 20 or 30 percent uh, heavier, heavier because uh, it weighed uh, 340 grams it, it uh, holds a big 7000 milliamperes per hour battery inside and that battery gives it 
up to 9 hours from balanced out and up to 14 hours from single ended uh, and basically yes in many cases uh, at least 8 hours from balanced out is reachable if you won't use uh, Wi-Fi and screen during that time too much basically comparing the sizes it's pretty close to M15 uh, about the same in terms of size it looks like uh, Shanling decided to implement it in exactly the same size case with similar weight and another competitor by its high R8 it's a bit bigger bit thicker so even big bit bulkier this way anyway it's uh, not really pocketable but still fit into my pockets uh, pretty nicely and it's basically the maximum size of player that I can uh, carry with me so on this side there are three buttons nice good clicks well defined of course uh, they are e really easy to find by fingers not uh, looking on the back side there is company logo and high res logo types I don't like them but who cares about my preferences of course these uh, films I don't want to peel them I don't probably will do it a bit later and here is on off uh, button it also uses to lock the screen and indicate indicator LED also there is a knob to change the volume it's not wiggling so holding really well here used pretty good encoder so in this aspect it's done nicely on the bottom there is a USB-C connector, it can be used for charging, uh, you can use player as a digital tonal converter, you can use it as digital transport, you can uh, access the internal memory, so basically all that uh, modern features that uh, USB-C provides. And uh, micro SD uh, card slot, it was a bit uh, hard to figure out how to open it, luckily Shenlink added sticker in the accessory set explaining that you need to push here then this end will rise you need to pull it and then twist and in this way you will access the micro sd slot actually let's let's put it inside i will need it a bit later and then close this slot back I actually prefer tray like designs a little bit more but uh, I don't think that it's really matter in general and on the top side there is their signature idea replaceable socket so how does it works if you want uh, not single-ended but balanced out or some other type of connector you need to get this tool actually it's not the volume knob like it's done in Fio for example it's the socket replacing tool you slide it and you push the existing socket there is a special ball to provide the better secure fit and you can select the necessary connector is it Yes, it's Pentacon 4.4 mm balanced, 3.5 mm, also you will get 2.5 mm and uh, 3.5 mm balanced or sometimes it's, call, it's called 3.5 mm Pro in some, by some manufacturers. And basically you can select another socket and then you just slide it back and gently push and it it's fit in place nice working schema I am not sure about durability but probably if you want doing that uh, swaps on daily basis I don't think it's necessary to do it that often it will serve for quite a long time here use the good connectors and it slides with good uh, uh, friction so to summarize this part in terms of design I really like this player you know Unfortunately, not everyone likes this uh, champagne gold or titanium color. I really like that color of M6 uh, Pro and I really like its feel. 
and I like this uh, uh, back panel, it's really pleasant to touch, but of course it's better to use it in case anyway. And uh, on the front side uh, there is a nice 5 inch screen, so it's not the maximum brightness of course. Let me turn it to the highest brightness, it's uh, made by Sharp. Nice resolution, viewing angles, good response and so on. So basically nice screen, uh, staying visible even under the bright sun. So in terms of design I'd like to see some more fancy color, but you know in the player's world uh, you can get any color what li you like as long as it's black. So let me show case to you, but basically it's just simple classical case with the classical design. Player slides in nicely and stays protected from any angle, so it's really good. So I'd like to see more fancy color, but overall build quality is really really good and it's Shenling, nice ergonomics, nice design and all that related stuff. In terms of firmware it's a stock Android with few additional modifications and Shenling's in-house implemented player. There were no Play Store from the out of the box, but it can be easily installed from APK Pure. You just download it and then start it and it basically works. It's cached version, no Wi-Fi right now. In the settings uh, we can see that they've added Bluetooth amplification mode, so it's basically Bluetooth receiver. And here is exit. You. Uh, what is in the more, yeah, it's just VPN and network settings and additional settings in the audio. You can select uh, phones out or line out, you can select one of many low pass filters, gain settings, balance to boot volume, maximum volume, wireless playback quality, you can activate airplay and vehicle mode here. I don't know, for few years for me it's kind of mystery why uh, player software creators uh, put these options in really sophisticated different places. Just add icons to activate uh, Bluetooth receiver on the desktop, add separate icon for the USB digital to analog converter and it will be nice and just working. On the, in the drop down you can see that uh, you can select USB mode, gain, phones out and line out, audio settings and you can also activate the uh, prime mode or Basically, it's just the mode when you get access only to the player itself without any additional stuff. Player is nice, it's pretty ergonomic. You can update media library, all songs, by folders, by albums, by artists. Uh, there are two levels of grouping, you can see all songs by artist and album. It's actually nice touch, you can get both. Usually some people prefer one level of grouping, other two levels of grouping, Shenling does it both. Artist genre, separate list for the high res, custom playlists, Wi-Fi transfer, access to the network attached storages, sync link, it's remote control option by Shenling, thanks that they didn't call it Shenling link. And settings, language, follow system, sleep timer, resume playback, uh, automatic uh, playback transition, skip to next folder, pause when headphones disconnect, uh, equalizer, you can activate it here or turn off, so basically just classical graphics equalizer. USB playback mode, LDHC or HWA codec, it's also activated in the player software, uh, lock screen with the uh, album art uh, and theme, black or white. Actually, both are pretty nice, but uh, I think that almost everyone will prefer black one. It, it's more hi-fi look. And just select some, some track. Select some track, yeah. And here is a playback screen, add to favorites, add to playlist, equalizer. Additional settings, uh, you can get album art and lyrics uh, and so on. Lyrics if it's present, additional information, so basically 
nice convenient navigation and good now playing screen of course album art uh, can be is used as a source of this blurry background so all that mo modern pieces of puzzles that is typical for modern players and also as usual there is a mass uh, management uh, capabilities so you can select uh, many folders you can uh, add them to playlists, you can delete them and do all other activities. So basically it's good, nicely working Android firmware. Uh, there were a few small glitches and bugs, but Shenlink actively working on them and squishing them. It supports MQA, as far as I remember it's listed on the MQA website, so it can be used in this aspect. And as you, all modern features are present here, but of course if you'd like you can install some third party player. Actually I haven't checked yet uh, if uh, UAPP added Shenling support, but probably they will do it soon. And in terms of uh, firmware, really nice and good player. And of course about the sound, you know, this segment from 1000 up to 2000 dollars is really crowded nowadays. Many manufacturers uh, trying to release some uh, model in this uh, tire B and uh, because of that, maybe not because of that, but Shanling decided to implement uh, uh, not natural signature, they decided to make a signature focused on the macro dynamics, make it engaging, uh, punchy, a bit forward and actually they succeed in creating a nice interesting signature. As uh, earphones for example, I will use uh, Campfire Audio Audio Ara natural and monitoring model that shows all the uh, features of the sound of the source and it suits nicely to this signature, uh, highlighting every single small aspect. I've read some opinions that this player require burn in, but to be honest, I don't believe in uh, solid state devices burn in, and uh, I use it for about 40 hours now. I didn't get any changes. In case if I will encounter some changes in sound signature later, I will uh, write the update to this uh, video, but uh, most probably there won't be any changes anyway. So, in terms of sound signature, bass is a bit highlighted, a bit accented, but of course not in terms of frequency response. It's not adding uh, quantity of low frequencies, it's just adding a bit of tightness and a bit of energy, a bit of impact. So if you like uh, good low frequencies and if you like them accented uh, with additional punch and impact, this is definitely the player that will deliver it to you, but of course uh, this uh, uh, segment requires uh, player to be detailed, technical, and of course it is. It's, uh, it's technical, it's resolving, but a bit of adding en added energy is present here. Depth is maximum and uh, low frequencies are controlled really well, sounding organic and uh, natural. It suits good el for electronic music and for acoustic instruments, but it makes acoustic instruments a bit more exciting than they are in the real life. But I think it's not the best, the bad thing in many cases. So first example track is uh, Musica Nuda, it's their live album. I like to use it with high-end players as an example because it's more complicated than studio albums and I Will Survive, it's one of the most well-known uh, cover versions by Musica Nuda, uh, nice uh, double bass intro and of course uh, vocal exercises and this uh, player delivers it really nicely with thanks to the added macro dynamics, thanks to the big dynamic range, thanks to the great dynamism and black background, this track sounding really lifelike with a lot of emotions and energy. And uh, playlist favorites second example track it's uh, oh yeah sorry go back uh, i don't need equalizer by yellow nice example of electronic music uh, tight impactful bass with uh, necessary body but at the same time not exaggerated 
Mid frequencies are done in the same style, they are resolving, they have a bit of uh, focus on the macro dynamics, they not focused on the micro, uh, micro contrast, uh, players not trying to nitpick and highlight the small, smallest nuances, but at the same time all the tiny details are present and of course it uh, plays it uh, really well just not not highlighting them as much as on uh, other players do sometimes so basically not focused on uh, micro focused on the macro and uh, that focus on macro brings additional energy great uh, transitions great uh, impacts uh, great uh, body great emotions but at the same time you know it's not highlighting emotions much i can't say that it's highlighting emotions per se it's more highlighting exactly macro dynamics and uh, uh, additional emotions is just like uh, second it's derivative uh, feature of the sound and uh, of course it, ha it uh, plays all instruments in a really realistic manner with good uh, sense of presence and imaginary stage is definitely above average both in width and in depth close to maximum but of course not at the maximum size but close to it so all that 3d stuff is really good uh, vocal is moved a bit forward giving you a bit of additional uh, depth layering even with poor records it's uh, not super critical to the quality of records but still good material is required for this player to show its full potential to uh, to unveil it at the full scale so let's go back you see that i need to go back each time then select playlist and favorites because uh, it's uh, sorting the favorites in some unknown order not in the order i've added uh, initially and uh, to go back i need to move back and forward so first example track it's uh, the living daylights by aha and aha it's first of all it's all uh, about the vocal but of course they can create catchy tunes uh, but for me you know vocal is number one staple of the aha and uh, this track is not an uh, exception because it's good combination of aha signature style and uh, bond franchise uh, signature sound so they united both giving nice emotional uh, performance and this uh, player with uh, this earphones or with any other earphones you will use deliver this track in a really nice and emotional way and uh, second example once again i need to go back and then select favorites and uh, second example it's just classical track uh, with crazy dyna dynamics with crazy dynamism and uh, it's dire straits sultans of swing and it's all about uh, the mood it's all about the energy and this player of course plays really well with this uh, uh, type of tunes and treble treble is energetic uh, a bit uh, highlighted also in terms of energy but of course i i'm definitely sure that it's totally flat and natural in terms of frequency response and uh, it uh, this uh, additional energy added to treble gives a bit of additional clarity it uh, it's really good in terms of treble extension and layering really good probably uh, the best or one of the best in this uh, tire with uh, really nice overtone saturation nice attacks and decays and good sense of realism in the treble area and uh, first example is uh, Margarita by Hiromi Uehara. Uh, you see that uh, they still need to polish some things in firmware because it's reading uh, uh, tracks not from the artist but from the album artist or vice versa. So Hiromi uh, labeled in uh, Japanese uh, hieroglyphs uh, and uh, 
uh, other players show the English version of her name. Anyway, good track. It also can be uh, used as an example of low frequencies because the bass part in the beginning. But actually, I've selected this track not because of uh, piano. It's it's really good, of course, and with lot of overtones. But because of percussion, they are nice here and recorded pretty interesting in more uh, rock style, not in a jazz style. And they have good uh, extension and this player definitely shows them in a really nice manner. And uh, the final example of the track, uh, it's... Uh, where is it? Lion King by Hans Zimmer. So it's a live performance with a lot of uh, instruments, with a lot of percussions and with that... Uh, uh, features of the big concert hall and this player also delivers it nicely thanks to the good staging and thanks to the good extended travel. So to summarize the sonic part, it's a player for those who like uh, high-end signature with good resolution, with good uh, uh, control, but with a bit of additional energy, with a bit of uh, added uh, macro dynamics and dynamic range. So it's really dynamic and it, it's great for live performance, for rock music uh, and all that stuff that requires uh, this uh, fast transitions and related things. And of course about the comparison, so it's a brief version, well, I will try to limit this part to only a few sentences for each player, because I am waiting for the iBuzzer DX300 to arrive and to create the full video, it's not the all dubs from this price tire I'll, I have, but anyway, let's uh, do it in short, probably the closest rival, they even look uh, pretty close to each other in terms of size and other stuff. Uh, they are close in terms of features and all other things, but in terms of sound they are not that close. Feel is a bit more uh, leaning towards the neutrality, it's like natural with a bit of added weight and the tad uh, softer treble. This one is more energetic with more macro dynamics and with more energy, especially it's noticeable on the treble, so treble representation is the most different here, but uh, in general it's like more to, to leaning towards natural, this one is more fun and engaging. And uh, actually Shanling's own M6 Pro, you know, it's also more natural, kind of, you know, with M6 Pro, Shanling decided to go to towards the more natural path, because usually they uh, like uh, fun and engaging signature, but they've decided to shift towards neutrality, but for the M8 they step aside once again, but it's this one is more natural, more resolving, with better treble extension, with better control, so definitely, you know, it's noticeable that this one is a more senior model. And uh, Kane and and uh, 6 Mark II, you can see it's more thick, uh, but at the same time a bit smaller, so another type of different approach to the sound. I'm using it with T, T01 amp, uh, unfortunately I didn't test E amps, but anyway. This one is more emotional, it's more of highlighting emotions and uh, you know, they both highlighting emotions, but it's not the uh, uh, same way of doing that, because this one is highlighting pure emotions uh, and uh, trying to be more natural. This one is highlighting macro dynamics and adding additional energy and highlighted emotions here is just the derivative of the, this uh, highlighted macro dynamics. And uh, another close arrival in terms of price, it's uh, Hybe R8. And Hybe is more natural, bit more focused on the micro details, bit uh, more focused on the highlighting of these micro details and micro contrast. And uh, it's uh, also a bit of uh, shifted towards the weighty representation, but it's uh, less colored than this player, but it's a matter of preferences. So if you like a bit more uh, audiophilic sound, it's uh, Hybe. This one is more for energy and for the emotions. 
Also, I bassed DX220 Max, you know, it's another player focused on the maximum uh, macro dynamics, but uh, I bassed does it even better, but of course it's uh, barely portable because of 700 grams of weight and actually being uh, bigger. Astel and Kern Alpha Cube that I like and that I've tested recently is also more natural, but with a bit of uh, liquid mid signature. Uh, um, uh, uh, that is typical for the Astel and Kern, so yet another type of representation. So, of course, the difference is not that big, you know, in the high-end segment all players are really good in terms of resolution, they be all of them building good stage, plus minus, of course, uh, but they all are big, they all are resolving, they all are natural and natural, but they have a bit of different coloration to suit different tastes. And uh, Shanling nailed the missing uh, type of signature and they delivered that and uh, they managed to do it nicely. And also I like that idea of replaceable sockets. You know, this player looks more tidy and more clean than uh, outputs filled other, other players. In terms of pairings, it's pretty universal, it has a good black background and at the same time it's really good in delivering high power, so you can use it with virtually all possible outputs. Maybe they will create some additional types of sockets, who knows, like dual RCA or uh, I don't know, XLR, but maybe not, it's just I'm kidding. But anyway, good black background with uh, almost zero noise with sensitive in-ear uh, monitors and a uh, lot of power from the balanced out. Balanced out is, I think it's more, more preferable way of using this uh, player because it's even a bit more dynamic and a bit more uh, highlighting the signature. So Shanling uh, managed to find the missing uh, type of signature and deliver that in stylish design with their uh, M8 player. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and have a nice day.